In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite healthy beef enchilada recipe. This is the first time we're meeting. Welcome. My name is Regina and I am on a weight loss journey. I also love to cook. For my beef enchilada recipe, I'm making it healthier by using, first of all, 93% lean ground beef, saving 25% of the fat value of the recipe. I'm also making an enchilada sauce that is low in sodium and low in carbs. And finally, I'm using a corn tortilla to add to the fiber of the recipe and just using a little bit of cheese to add a little bit of oomph, but not going overboard. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. For our ingredients, we're gonna need 93% lean ground beef, one pound. We have four ounces of cheddar cheese. We have a homemade enchilada sauce, and I'll go ahead and link that recipe in the description and also in the video here. We have a little bit of garlic, about two tablespoons of garlic. We have half of a white onion that I've minced finely, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and one teaspoon of dried cumin. We have 12 corn tortillas and salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get cooking. We're gonna go ahead and take our ground beef with some onions and put that over a medium high heat. And we're gonna stir this for about seven minutes until our beef becomes completely brown and the onions are completely incorporated into the mix. The next step will be to drain our ground beef. Now that our beef has been drained, let's go ahead and put the oregano, some cumin, and stir that together. Completely incorporate all the flavors. Now we're gonna add our green chilies to the mix. And again, give that a nice mix so you incorporate them entirely into the beef mixture. Now that we have our ground beef ready, let's go ahead and get our tortillas nice and ready. Spray a nonstick skillet with pan spray, leave it for 30 seconds, and then flip it for another 30 seconds just until it's pliable. Next, we're gonna go ahead and heat up our enchilada sauce. Now let's go ahead and put our tortillas into the red enchilada sauce. Dunk it into one side, be careful, don't leave it in too long because it will break then go ahead and put it on a plate. And we're gonna fill it up. Go ahead and put a little bit of meat in the tortilla. Just sprinkle a little bit of cheese and then roll it up. Do 12 of these and put them into the casserole dish. Don't forget to put the rest of the cheese left over onto the top of the casserole. In a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Allow your casserole to sit for about 10 minutes before diving into it. Hey guys, I have to be honest, this is the first time I made a beef enchilada. I have made chicken in the past. These were super delicious. The 93% lean ground beef, you didn't even notice. The, the fat was just fine and it was super uh, moist. The tortillas were great. Uh, overall, it was really good. Um, the only thing I would do next time is add a little bit of shredded lettuce and some avocado and tomatoes to it and just, you know, give it a little bit more bulk. Also, you can add some cauliflower rice or just some white rice to it to also accompany the dish. This is a great recipe. It serves six. For two enchiladas, it was 283 calories, 12.2 grams of carbs, 18. 
one grams of protein and 12.8 grams. If you like this cooking video today and you'd like to follow me on my weight loss journey, please hit the subscribe button, leave me a like, and hit the bell icon for future videos. I post once a week my weekly weigh-in showing the foods that I've made, as well as some meal prep and other things that aren't on my cooking videos. So with that said, please go ahead and have a great day and thanks for watching.